Hi, I'm Dustbuller49, and welcome to episode 21 of my Let's Play of Spyro the Dragon. In this episode, I'll be taking you to the fifth homeworld, Dreamweaver, so I'm going to head to this balloonist. So now that we have enough dragons, he'll allow us to go to Dreamweaver, so just select the option, and he'll let us hop into the balloon. Okay, so there's a couple new enemies in this level, and they're controlled, at least in Dreamweavers itself, by a laser beam controlled by a little dude on an island in the center. And he uses his little beam to make these enemies bigger and smaller. And with this one on the right, you can hit him with a flame, whether he's big or small. If I can just get him. And with this guy, you can only hit him with a charge when he's small, so I have to wait. For some reason, he's not changing. Please shoot him. I'm gonna walk away and see if that helps at all. Okay, he's still not lasered. I'd appreciate it if he was. I'm gonna go over here and see if he changes him while I'm away. Still nothing. Well, I can't really do anything about those gems over there until he's gone, so I might as well head over here, because this is where I was going to go next anyway. And so I'm going to fly over here to the right of this guy, and of course, he gets flamed. I mean, lasered as soon as I go over there. Okay, so I'm just going to continue collecting stuff over here, because it will eventually lead me back to the beginning anyway, because apparently that's not going to work out for me right now. So, yeah, that guy's back here. He has no access to the laser. You don't have to worry about him getting big. And don't forget these two gems back here. You'll regret it, because you'll have no idea where the last ten gems are. And over here's another new enemy. I guess they're called fools. And... In a second, I'll show you how you can use them as a tool to change the levels of platforms around. So as you can see, I flamed him, and while he didn't die, he allowed for this platform to lower so I could actually reach it. And that's sort of what you'll be using them for here in Dreamweavers. Basically, they're a puzzle-solving tool. Unfortunately, they're annoying, and you will want to kill them, but you cannot. Here's our first dragon. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Yes, attack the crap out of them. They deserve it. And they go off like little alarm clocks. Oh, those little creepy mushrooms are pushing me around. So now I'm going to... They're still pushing me. Everything's pushing me. So these whirlwinds will take me back to the beginning of the level. And... Unfortunately, well, I can fly around him, but I still can't get those two gems next to that guy, because he won't shrink. But eventually, I'll be able to use a laser to shrink him myself, but it's unfortunate that I have to go back to him anyway. We'll get our revenge later. And now I'm going to continue through the level. Over here is where our first portal level is, Dark Passage. I really actually like this level, that level a lot, not this level. Oops, what am I? Crap, don't get slapped. Watch, he won't. Oh, he's small. Good. I was lucky that whatever thing is making him stay big didn't make that one stay big too. Because there, there would have been two I would have had to go back later and take care of. But it didn't happen that way, so that's nice. So here are two that will not change, and it's supposed to be that way in the game. You actually have to get access to the cannon before you're allowed to get rid of them. So that's something to look forward to. I did have to use the cannon anyway, whether that first one went down or not. Just, you can charge those guys too. And here's, I guess this is our third dragon, right? Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. 
While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. I don't remember any of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna collect some more gems. Those mushrooms are weird. And be careful around here because you might fall into the water or off the ledge. And that's not good. So I do think I've gotten everything over here. Over there's the balloonist to take you to Nasty's world at the end. After this is the end of the game, really. So we're pretty close to finishing this game. Here's a line of these guys, and they'll change all in a row, so it's best to try to hit them all at once. Like this. You'll just get rid of them if you don't. Like, if you, like, let up at the end, one will probably slap you in the face, so... Try your best to hit them all at once. So, up here, this is the boss level. I can't pronounce the name. I don't know if it's Jacques or something. I probably butchered it, but it is what it is. I'm not good at pronouncing things. So, over here is how I'm going to get up to the area with the cannon. Now that I've taken care of the last of the enemies besides the actual guy controlling the laser, I can head up here. And we'll be able to get rid of the rest of the guys that would not shrink. So just flame this guy and we'll have control of the laser. Hopefully if I shoot this guy, he'll shrink. Okay, he's small now. They'll stay small permanently because unless you shoot them again, there's no one to turn them big again. Hopefully that will work. Yep, it worked out good. Probably should have gone the other way first. So I just gotta turn him around. The camera's really awkward in this game. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff first. Since I will have to go back towards Dark Passages to finish the episode anyway, there's no reason to go over there right now. There's a couple more of those fools up here. And really... <clears throat> sorry. Um, really? Oh god, they're giving me trouble today. Um, you only really have to hit... Well, you have to hit both of them to get this, like, thing up here to... I'm not doing good. Okay, hopefully I can fly. Okay, I did it. I was thinking that it wouldn't work out for me. But it, it has. Up here is our flight level. I'll have to look at the name in a second. Okay, so it's Icy Flight. So up here is Icy Flight, so you will have to mess with the fools to get up here. I think this is the last bit of treasure. Let's wait for a second. Oh wait, we still have to get that guy at the beginning. But that doesn't make any sense, because... Is there nine left? He can't have nine. Gotta check around to make sure I have everything. Well darn, I don't think I do. Oh, I know why. There's two gems in front of him that are blocked for me because he's so irritating. So I'm gonna go back over here and this will take me up to the platform. I'll get my last dragon. So I'm not gonna let him take me all the way back to the cannon. I'll, this is the last dragon. Hello Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty nork. My friends and I used to pretend that dragon was a girl just because there's like absolutely no girls in this game and it, I don't know if it made us sad that there was no girls, that we had to go and make one up, but I don't have any idea what that means, but now that I'm an adult, I can safely say that I was making it up. There are no girls in this game, but 
In the other Spyro games, there was, like, Bianca or something, and she was, like, a rabbit witch. Oh, well. Oh, there's, like, a fawn lady, too. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent, but over here, again, is our, the next episode, Dark Passage, so thanks for watching. Bye now.